And we're back. So, um, yeah, we've got this crystal stone thingy. Uh, right at forfeit. That sounds ominous. Oops, move my chair. What do you mean you can't do it now? Why would you hide the door for something that necessary? Oh, it changes automatically, so um, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. That quest to do. And get the ship tuned up, which you know, I suppose that's a good idea. Ah, the Davron Islands. I love the Davron Islands. Um, so, the Davron Islands are one of the coolest parts of the game, but there's also a high chance they're going to make my game lag to hell and my emulator lag, but um, I might just take a sec to check I've got all my settings in place and then I'll guess I'll... I shall see if there's other quests to do first. Let's just take a look. Yeah, we've got a couple other things we can do first. Um, I might leave that for a minute. And let's just go to spine on show. So we're gonna have to seriously make sure that I've got the emulator settings where I need them to be because that place is probably the most impressive place in the game, I'd say, in terms of graphics. All right, Flo, what do you have for me here? Waterway wipeout and pamphlet delivery. Okay, let's check this one out. We need to go clear some water from. <laughs> not clear. We need to clear the water supplies because they're full of rubbish. Yeah, and nowhere to go. I mean, you don't want to have rubbish in the water supply. That just. Dang it, wrong button again. I need to get used to this. I'll probably get used to it by the time, like, <laughs> the last part of this Let's Play or something. Yeah, we're here to clean the waterways. So what do we got to do? Oh yeah, you need to get in there first. Well, what was the point of me coming up here? Okay, we're just going to get warps there, that's alright. Okay, so what do we do? Yep, there is indeed a garbage can. It's right there. It's kind of obvious, actually. Okay, need to chuck the garbage into the can. That, uh... Makes sense, I guess. There you go. Nope, can't go down there, though. Can't get the robot... Can't get the robot wet. So, we've got to swim, then. Go find us a switch. Hopefully we should be able to drain the water. And hopefully not get attacked by... Eh. Yep, there's fish. Ah! Ow. Damn things. Who chucked all this rubbish down here, anyway? I suppose it could have just accumulated over time, but... That just kind of looks like huge great piles of scrap metal. Like, someone had to have put that there. Okay, grab uh, more crystals, that's good. No way we're going to lift this on ourselves, Red. We've got to have the Dehark for this. Ah, good. Doors open. Okay. Get back on. Grab the bin. And let's start cleaning up down here. Easy enough quest, just. Oh, yeah, just grab the rubbish, put it in. I'm kind of glad they didn't make it so you had to actually throw the rubbish in, because that would have been finicky, I think. You just press a button, in it goes, see? Nice and easy. You know, if you actually had to try and aim the rubbish to get it in the bin, it probably wouldn't be too bad, because this being a DS game didn't really have analog controls, so. Shouldn't have been too difficult, but even so, I'm glad they did it this way instead. Unfortunately, 
I don't think this thing's slowing us down anymore. And there, there we go, that was easy. Alright. Waterways are clean, everyone can actually drink their water now and not get horrifically sick. Am I going to save after that? Um, well, the next quest said it was pest clearance or something, so I probably should, just in case. You know, in case some huge great thing turns up and tries to murder me. What do you want? Okay, she didn't have anything new to say. There is actually a reason that I am talking to as many people as I can. Um, I'll show that off. I'll show off later exactly why I'm doing it, but for the minute, just accept that I'm doing it. Okay, pamphlet delivery. What am I going to do? Ah, okay, so um, this is important. So all those characters that I said were in the previous game, I wasn't exactly accurate about that. Um, it turns out, I'm not exactly sure how it worked. Whether it was another spin-off game or if it was just like a series of, I don't know, videos or something. But a lot of the returning characters that I've been saying were from Tail Concerto were actually two of these, this guy here. And it was like a, I don't know, public si public service announcements or educational videos for kids teaching them how to be safe, I guess. I don't know all the details about it, but... <laughs> yeah, I've been... Apparently this is where this guy's from, so... Anyway, the point is, the mission we're doing is just handing out safety pamphlets to everyone. Yeah, so he's from the country of Nippon, so that, that's Japan. I if I remember correctly, so... Yeah, the, these guys... I don't really know why they're in the game, but... Here they are, so just roll with it. <laughs> so we've got to hand out some safety pamphlets to everyone. Sounds easy enough. Just find anyone you haven't spoken to yet, give them a pamphlet. Well, she already knew. I mean, that's, that says smart girls. It makes sense she'd know to stay away from strangers. Uh, what about this guy? Yeah, lots of earthquakes generally are an omen in every video game ever. <laughs> I'm serious, if you get lots of earthquakes, that means something bad's going to happen. I suppose that makes sense. Have a predetermined plan of what's doing an emergency. What about you? Do you know anything? See, this mission just is so weird. If they are doing like a s crossover spin-off with this safety scheme they had in Japan, but it just does not... I don't know why they put it in this game specifically. Um, I guess the people who made this game also made the safety announcements, but it's just such a weird idea. I suppose it does kind of tie into what's been happening so far. I mean, with the giant monster attacking, it does make sense that people need to know this stuff, but. I just can't wrap my head around it, really. I suppose it is always good to be prepared, you know? Stuff, you know, disasters can happen at any time. It just makes sense to be prepared, know what you're doing. Can I give one to Flo? No. I thought maybe she'd want one. Alright, I think the last... Yeah, this is the last one, I think. I haven't been counting. I should have been counting.
Yep, that's all of them. Okay, so head back, find Mamoru. 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 Yeah, Mamoru. And 500 rings, nice. Okay, that was easy enough. Uh, I've only been on doing this for about 10 minutes, so um, I guess we'll go do the um, dual ship then. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. It wasn't the um, it wasn't a pest control quest in this one. It was the dual ship I was thinking of. Either way, let's go there. And we've got two quests here, so I guess we'll do one now, one... Uh, well, I'll see how quickly we do this one. Alright, what do you got for me? Okay, see this one here? This one is green. And I believe... I think that means we... Yeah, we've already done that one, so... Um, certain quests, once you've beat them, will come up green. And that basically means you can do it over and over again to earn money. Most of them are dual ship quests. But there are a few others here and there. So we've actually only got one to do here, and it's Fan Day. Okay, we'll be giving some dual tips to those special fans who want to learn from us. Well, let's do that then. I suppose we did get that fan way... Yeah, that was her. Um, she was like way back in the first one. Yeah, he's just after customers again. And Red is as clueless as ever. I'll fight duels to make my fans happy. All, all I ever do is just throw stuff. I mean, I can't mix it up all that much. Oh jeez, she's, she's happy to see me. Well, who else would... What do you mean just really me? Who else would it be? Yeah, Red, that, that's your fan. And she's creepy. I was going to say she's cute, but then she said about the dreaming thing, and that's just got creepy. Okay, she wants to learn from us. That's um, well, unless your robot is specifically built for grabbing and throwing stuff, I don't quite know what you plan on learning from us. But I guess we can. Uh, I guess we'll just fight anyway, and she'll she'll pick up whatever lessons she needs. I guess. But first, I think we can. We've got quite a few crystals, so we can probably buy some more parts. Let's see what we got here. Um, I might get the defense increase, just in case. And attack or hydraulic? I go for hydraulics, because I want to be able to lift stuff easy. And let's try and... <laughs> I hope we can fit all this in. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I already had a Hydraulics plus 7. Alright, um... Just wasted a bit of money then, but that, that's okay, everyone makes mistakes. And uh, we've got 20 points, so we can... Open there... 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 And... There. Uh... <laughs> I need to figure out where to put stuff, um... Let's see if we go like that, maybe. And Damn it. defense. Okay. Um, <laughs> might have messed this up. Let's think here. Think carefully. Uh, 
Uh, there's probably going. There's got to be a way to fit both of these in. Or not, I could have messed this whole thing up entirely. Fit a bit more attack in. Or. No, I'll go for that defense. I'll put the defense in here. Except, no, that's diagonal, isn't it? And that's. <laughs> I have. <laughs> I have royally messed this up. Uh, I'll just go for the attack boost. There we go. Not perfect, but uh, it will do for now. Alright, let's do our first round then. Yep, all ready. Let's go. And that's not even it. I shouldn't have worried. <laughs> Looks like I shouldn't have worried about getting those parts right. These are the weakest enemies in the game. <laughs> All right, let's go against these uh, mice. Yep, here I am. Still the lone robot rider. Still not the one in a million master of disaster that I want to be, but oh well. I don't know what kind of amazing thing you expect against these. Alright, let's. Let's, uh. <laughs> let's get him! Run at the mamache! <laughs> Throw him into the audience. How do you like that, audience? And slam it. <laughs> People actually cheered for that. That was. I literally didn't stop mashing A throughout that whole thing. <laughs> that was it, just mash A. Easy. Well, I hope you learned something, Toffee. Hopefully the next round will be a bit more challenging. Oh. Our next opponent looks tough. Is it going to be a slightly bigger mouse? Oh no, this is where... <laughs> Okay, so every now and then during these things you're going to get like special... Uh, oh god, I can't even think of the word. Basically a cha challenge, that's the word I'm thinking of. So we have to win in under three minutes. And if we don't, um, I don't know, I guess we get exploded or something. But So yeah, we have to win this match in under three minutes. Because Red couldn't keep his damn mouth shut. You know, if Red does start bragging it. And look, it's three of those things! Alright, this might be challenging. I might actually lose here. <laughs> um, maybe I should quick save just in case. Hang on. Okay, so. Hopefully that should keep us not dead. Basically, because I don't know where this will reload to if I get if I get defeated. You know, I don't know if it will come back to this quest, you know, this fight, or if I have to do the first one again. So, pretty quick save again once this um, once this text is over. But <laughs> yep. You shouldn't have bragged, Red. Now we're against three of these big ants. Okay, so quick save again here real quick. Alright, that should do it. Let's try not to die. <laughs> 
Out of the way! No! No! Gotta get behind him. And they're tough. Look how little damage I did. It's okay, we're, we're doing okay, we've, been, we've taken up... How was that? 20 seconds? Yeah, t 20 seconds and one of them's almost dead. Actually, I don't think these are big. These are like medium ants, not big ants. Because if it was big ants, this would be impossible. And luckily we've got... Because that um, plus 7 hydraulics we've got, we can lift them pretty easily, so... Yeah. <laughs> Right, how? Why was I so worried about this challenge? I was probably confusing it for a different challenge later on. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Did it in a minute. Well, a minute and two seconds, but still. Yep, we did do that in less than three minutes. Less than two minutes, actually. We did even better than I thought we would. Okay, Red, so now you've learned your lesson, so now don't make any more brags. Unfortunately, it seems he's fallen for the cute girl, so he's going to keep making stupid challenges, isn't he? Yep, we got to do another one. No, Red, don't! <laughs> no, no! Not a minute, no! Oh, nuts. Red, you have killed us. <laughs> You've doomed us both. Alright, let's do this. <sighs> yeah, you'll learn from however the heck I'm going to do this. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> this is the challenge I was thinking of. This is the one I was worried about. You <laughs> beat all three of these things in a minute. Oh no! Okay. Why? Why, Red? Why? Why do you do this to me, Red? Okay. Listen to Chocolate, she knows what she's talking about. Oh god, look at him. Alright, let's quick save one more time just to be safe. Ah, that's not quick saving. Hang on, I don't know the um. I don't know the quick key. What am I supposed to do? Alright. But no! No! I loaded! Damn it! Um. Ah, uh, nuts. <laughs> okay, I will. I press load by mistake. I will. Um... You know, I'm going to end the part here and I'll see you back at round three. <laughs> God, why am I such an idiot?